All right, everybody, it is time to begin what I am quite confident will be Scott's final season in the NHL. Well, I mean, we'll probably simulate the rest of it for a video, but this will be the last season we actually play. We're getting near the 50 episode mark, which is absolutely crazy. And once again, it has reset my equipment. So we have just a single red stripe well, that's going to change. Ta-da! Good as new. Really hoping that our GM did something here. Hopefully, we still have Bedard as well. Definitely don't want to lose him. But our team as a whole, last year, not that great. So for me, it would be ideal if the GM went absolutely Captain Insano in the offseason, just signing anybody and everybody. I know they made some moves at the deadline, but overall, those were pretty conservative. So let's see if there was a less conservative offseason. View lines... What is Chicago looking at this year? Holy crap! Captain Insano is an understatement. If we don't win this year, we are never gonna win. We've got Bedsy as our second line center, playing with Matt, the man, the myth. And then we have Beckett, overall a pretty young line right here. This first line is insanity. Matthews, Pasta, and Berkeley, they are going to go off! You heard it here first. You probably didn't need to hear it from me though because just from pasting your eyes on that, you could deduce that this line is in fact gonna put up 500 points. Now that's a lot of damage! Now let's see if we did anything defensively. Oh, we sure did. We sure did. Was he our teammate in Columbus? I feel like I'm getting lost now. I suppose we should be able to check because I don't think he was on Chicago. Yeah, there it is. We are reunited with Jacob. We have Sergachev, 90 overall, loaded with abilities, playing with Kevin. We are going to be disgusting this year. In net, we still have Scott with a horrible green screen, and we have Aiden Hill as the backup. Season opener against New Jersey. Let's not delay any further. Hopefully, we have a shootout. It's not like an overtime shootout, but hopefully, we get a lot of goals, is what I'm trying to say. Power play for Chicago. How do we have all these assets and we can't score on the power play? Unacceptable. Our power play percentage should literally be 100%. There is no reason that a team should shut us down unless New Jersey finishes the year with a 100% penalty kill. It's the only thing I'll accept. We get on the board first. Berkeley scores the first goal for Chicago this season. And we actually have a bit of a close one here. Let's go. Now hear me out. I know that some people did want me to bring back the franchise be a pro. And I'm not going to completely write it off yet. There's a huge gap between episodes, yeah. Because I haven't made another one. And I more or less said that we are finished where it is. But what I will say is that once the Be a Pro is done, maybe we could kind of pick up where we left off. And I thought that was a goal. Also, I just realized Berkeley... Didn't give up 3-4. He stood his ground, so Matthews is number 37. Glove shave, and throw it to the corner. Watch out, Leon's coming for you. Korchinski, he doesn't cave under pressure. Absolutely not. Look at this guy go. What a wonderful play. What a hit into the board. See you later. He's just coming out now. Took you long enough. So yeah, that's just my thought. I don't know if... Smother it. That was all kinds of luck right there. We just won the lottery. In fact, you know what? As soon as we get the puck out of the zone, I'm pausing this and going to buy a ticket because there is a 1,000% chance I win. What is with these big hits? I'm here for it. Like, I love it, but it feels like it kind of came out of nowhere, you know? What have you got for me, Will Farrell? Ooh, you got nothing. Glove save. You got a penalty. I'll tell you that for free. Get me to that bench. Nice save by Dustin Wolf. So again, just going back to the earlier point, I have no idea why it's a five on three, but I'm, I need to stop getting distracted. The franchise be a pro, not completely done and out of the water yet. Also, why is one four wearing a cage full time? This is the first game of the season. Maybe something happened in preseason, but like preseason, really? You think I'm not going to go for it on a five on three? You think I'm not going to do it? Get away from me. Get away. Watch. Oh, oh, well, where am I going? Yeah, you didn't see that coming, did you? That was so off target, but what a pass to Austin Matthews. If that went in, it would have been beautiful. 
They're throwing so many pucks on net, getting a lot of chances, but Dustin Wolf is shutting the door, which I guess that's been the story of the game so far. It's one nothing. It really has been a goaltender duel. There it is, finally, and of course it's Matt. This guy just finds a way to get points. It's absurd. 2-0, the insurance marker has been buried. You love to see it. Things are looking good, but there is still... Actually, the game isn't over yet, but there is something very important that we are currently playing for, and it is a goose egg. Yeah, I said it. I said what I said. Now let's go get another one. Oh, they took it, literally. They really did just go get another one. Betsy on the doorstep. 3-0. It's looking real good for Chicago in the season opener. Yeah, that's saved. As long as I don't get any, like, tipped shots, breakaways, uh, shots on net in general, I think the shutout's going to stay intact. That wasn't even close to the net. Thanks, Rosen. I appreciate you. Love the puck movement. Big fan of the puck movement. Not a big fan of that trip, though. Could definitely do without that. So, we are going to be short-handed, or will we? No, we're not. I lied. It is a 3-1 game. There goes the goose egg. Oh, well. Shutouts are cool and all, but, you know, like, at this stage, it doesn't really matter. All I care about is winning, because I want to win the cup, so... Whether we let in zero goals or seven. Don't care. We just need to win hockey games. I will say I am very happy with our GM. Because not only did they make some moves in the first year with Chicago offseason. Again, not the biggest moves in the world, but did something. Which is more than I could say for my other two teams a couple times. And on top of that, this offseason was outrageous. So absolutely here for it. The GM heard me. They know that Scott... Well, they don't, but... <laughs> let's go with it. Weird time to pull your goalie, and what are you doing, Pasta? Now I totally get why they pulled their goalie. Great poke check from Ekblad. Guaranteed goal right... Well, after we just saw Pasta's little performance, maybe not guaranteed? I'd like to think there's a pretty good chance that was going to go in, but... Regardless, 3-1-W... Absolutely phenomenal play from your Chicago Squadron. 25 shots as well. Ooh, wee, those stats are going to be nice. Also, first star of the game, kind of a big deal. We start on a bit of a metro trip here, but no Columbus Blue Jackets. Where are they? More metro, still no Blue Jackets. They're all the way down here on Christmas Day. Wow. Okay, we're doing that now. I also do not see the Ducks. Well, on that note, we'll just kind of play whoever then. I guess it doesn't really matter. Is our first... Oh no, St. Louis. Okay. I thought our first divisional game wasn't until the Jets right here, which I mean, it's not too much earlier, but still, yeah, we are on a big Eastern trip. It's not even a trip because we are hosting the Islanders and then the Canucks. So let's go to our season opener and try to get a dub there as well. Or not, because we're not in. Simulate the game if we lose. All right, you're lucky. And we're not in for our second home game against Vancouver. What is going on here? Do the coach and I need to have a conversation? Is there beef to be squashed? Four 0-0 wings against the three 0-1 Blackhawks. Let's go ahead, simulate, and see if we can give them their first L. That's a wonderful way to start. No. Magnificent. Superb. Splendid. For Pappy. Power play goal. That's what I'm talking about. Scores another one. Get a natty hattie. First period. Just get it done. Power play again. Oh my word. He actually did it. You are a sicko. I could be getting way ahead of myself here, but this could be a record breaking season if we keep up at this pace. Again, very early, small sample size. I'm just saying we look deadly out there for nothing. But again, I'm going to jump in because there's something at stake. It's a shutout. Yeah, here we go. It is time for... Yeah, Scott's first home game this season. That was a close one right off the bat. They do have Mason McTavish, which I believe... Again, it is be a pro. People go everywhere. 
so maybe not. But most likely a former teammate of Scott when I got drafted to the Ducks. No blocker save. Just directing traffic here. Oh! <laughs> you think you can score on me? That was a close one. He didn't even go butterfly, which was kind of weird. He just squeezed the mini weeds together, standing upright, and it worked out for him, so credit where it's due. It took me so long to get over, but thankfully it took... Pajot, was that? A long time to shoot. So, definitely had that working out for us. I, like, we are getting hounded right now. We gotta do something. McTavish in the slot. I'm not getting a whistle. Do I look like I want free handouts? Oh, another big save. Honestly, the fact that I haven't been scored on yet, nothing short of a miracle. It's a good save, Jesper. That time the drum just didn't make any noise. That's very interesting. Another glove save, and of course I'm tossing it out. Get out of here. Robbins gains the line. Oh, 5 2. Trying to get fancy with it. Yup. Saw it coming from a mile away. Read you like a book. Checked out of the library yesterday. I don't think I can put into words how lucky I am actually getting right now. Like, this is absurd. Great feed. Great save, too. So with this win, we are going to be 4-0-1. Detroit is currently second in the league. We are third. And I wonder who's in first. Because I'm just thinking that maybe we could try to take them on as our next game. And that way we could take down the second place team and the first place team. That was bound to happen. All right. 100%. They deserve that goal. I vote that we just get Matthews another goal. Four goals would be quite the effort from that lad. So I also think this season, we really should be getting some individual hardware. Like Rocket Richard should be coming to Chicago. Vesna should be coming to Chicago. The Jennings should be coming to the Windy City. I could even see us having the Art Heart combo. Maybe not the Norris, but... I'm willing to root Sergachev on. Obviously, this is very old news at this point, but... That Sergachev injury was tough. I felt really bad for him. So anyway, yeah, just hope he has a speedy recovery. He's able to get back out there. And I'm sure that he will be back and better than ever before we know it. So the Red Wings are just salty that they're about to finally lose a game, and now they're just resorting to lumberjacking, essentially. You know, the good old saying, if you can't beat them, just chop their arm off. Hockey in like the 70s and 80s firmly believed that. All right, another big win for Chicago. We are yet to lose a regulation game, and I would like to find out who's in first place so we can take them down as well. 30 shots and only one goal against. It's just so beautiful. Second star, first has to be Matthews. Yeah, natural hat trick. You kind of can't argue against that. Look at all the green. Two things there. One, very rude switching as I'm going to say something. Two, James, zip. Um, look how beautiful that is. You know? It's all green. Coach loves me. We're having a good year so far. How about that? Toronto was struggling the last few years, I believe, right? Yeah, because this is the only, like, series I have going other than the franchise. But that was only a one-year thing so far. I will say so far, but they are off to a heater start. 4-0-0, and it is our next game. Please let me be in for that one. Awesome. They took over first. Okay. That was easy. Didn't have to search long and hard to find the first place team. So let's do it. Let's claim another victim here. Give them their first L. Pappy's former team. If you want to get another hat trick, who says no? Power play early on, and we get one from Duclair. Let's go, Dukes. Trennan scores, so we're not even using our main guys right now. This is immaculate. We don't need them. Pasta scores. 
I seriously am starting to believe that we could set a record this year. Not 70 wins, okay? That is outrageous. But like mid to, to high 60s? Doubling them in shots. We have the same thing on the line. Let's see if we can finally do it. So the Leafs have Noah Dobson, Brady Kachuk, Maddie Beniers. They definitely have some great talent on this squad that we got to look out for. And I wonder if that was just like, well, there we go. Don't have to worry about that anymore, at least. In the glove you go. Oh, what's happening here? Yeah. Let's just smother that one, maybe. Mostly because I didn't have a choice. Before I was ever so rudely interrupted by Maddie Beniers. I was saying, I wonder if the Toronto GM has sort of been, like, stocking these players up and, like, adding slowly. Or if they just had a banger of an offseason like we did. I do feel like I remember Kachuk being there. So I think he's sort of been in it for the long haul. But Dobson and Beniers seem new. No way they have a guy named Wellwood. I don't know why I slid that far. Okay, okay. Hold on. Time to reset here. Time out. Okay. Time from the game. Gotta settle it. We might still be up two goals, but this is currently an undefeated NHL hockey team. Very small sample size. Still haven't lost. Composure. And it's Wellwood. Oh no. So, okay, we're winning by one. What? It, whoa! What? Esteban! What are you doing, lad? I might be getting just like a little bit nervous here. All right, Veneers, thank you. Feels good to finally make a save. I'm just gonna try to stay level-headed though. Panicking accomplishes nothing. We gotta remain confident. You did number 72. All right, cool number, I'll allow it. Okay, so I'm just thinking here, what just happened? What is going on? Why can't I save a beach ball right now? Bring in the coach. Give me the speech that I can't save a beach ball because you would be more than correct at this point in time. This right now is giving Minnesota Vancouver. All right, because they were up like what, 5-2? And then all of a sudden in the third period, Minnesota was like, hey, I'm gonna score nine goals. That's what's basically happening here. Do it, do it, yes! Okay, we're back on top, back in the driver's seat. I can't believe we were up by four goals coming into this period. That is surreal. The Leafs were looking at the stat sheet like, it's a awfully nice save percentage you got there. It'd be a real shame if someone messed that up. Well, you know what, Toronto? You're not the only team that can score, as is evident by our five goals. And I feel like Scott's back in it here. That goal was... Massively motivating for some reason. Ooh, nice try, but you can't score on Pink Whitney. Great tip. Oh man, so close. How are we not burying the puck here? It's okay, it's fine. I'm fine. Wonderful goal. Absolutely wonderful. Oh, and he does it too! Sue! Let's go, Pasta! Right off the draw. That was 1,000% planned, by the way. They have been practicing this. Gets tied up. What a... Truthfully, I didn't even know this was, like, possible in the game. Picture perfect shot. Under the bar, but hit the top mesh. You, sir, are a mad lad. Get out of here, Matt. Trying to start another goal fest? Because it's not going to happen, pal. What a roller coaster ride this third period has been. Because I went. I'm not sure how that one went in. We take those. No clue how it found its way. I actually think he just straight up sniped this. So Pasta, his tape to tape, sends it. And then Korchinski was kind of like crashing in. Yeah, it was just a shot. We came into this third. I was extremely confident. We were up 4 0. Then they got a couple goals, and I was kind of like, hold the phone. Then they got a couple more, and I was like, all right, now I'm worried. But then we just did that, so 
Yeah, I went from confident to we're definitely losing back to we are confidently winning. This really is Vancouver, Minnesota. Like, tell me I'm wrong. Incoming, well, actually, Minnesota ended up winning when they were down. Uh, well, how about this? There is still two minutes left for me to absolutely blow this. It very well could happen. <laughs> what are we at now? 13 goals total? The roller coaster ride continues. We are back to panicked here. Thank you for that low blocker save. Holy smokes, my stomach is letting me know. Thank you. 2-0. Just out here casually saving the day. Being present for the rebound. And that will finally seal the deal. Case closed. Thank you, Austin Matthews. And they're deploying the Detroit strategy. Well, we're not going to win, so might as well hurt them. Hack their hand off. Okay, good news. We managed to escape with a win there, which coming into the third period, you'd be like, what do you mean? Of course. Didn't stay that way. Six goals on 31 shots is just not going to cut it. Why am I convincing myself that I just said 31 goals on six shots? Maybe I did? I don't know. Whatever. Hey, we really need this win. Uh, no, we actually kind of don't. We have to win this game for Matthews. I'm going to real-time sim it, but I'm just going to skip the period. So first period, 1-0. Oh, wow. That is exactly what happened in the third period last game. Now, can we hold the lead? Yes, we do. Imagine how boring that third period would have been after a second of that caliber. I feel like we have to play the Leafs again, and it's around the 27-ish game mark, which is normally what I do, so I'm gonna sim up to this one, and we'll see where we're sitting then. Austin, buddy, listen. We gotta knock it off with these. Yeah, sure, diplomatic. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Teammate like ability plus 315, that's great, okay? Don't really care. I'm just waiting to see if we're gonna lose a game. This is... Unbelievable. 13-0-1. Are you starting to believe it now? We're just not going to lose. 17-0-1. That has to be the best start in NHL history. <laughs> I thought we were going to lose. Finally. Finally, we lose. And of course, we lose two in a row. But that is about to change. Because next video, when we jump in, we are going to take down the Toronto Maple Leafs and go back on a rip. First in the NHL, it would be shocking if we weren't. I would go as far as to say borderline impossible. So here we are right now. We are five points up on the Smashville Predators, and we played two less games. And then the closest team after that is nine points behind us, and they have one more game. A 90-point percentage, guys. 4.16 goals for per game. Goals against per game, 2.48. We're setting records. We're doing it. Oh. 52 points in 25 games. Remember when I said we're getting the art heart and every trophy imaginable? Also, how about Pasta having 23 goals himself? Even Bedard on the second line. Point a game. We would have to have a monumental fall from grace for this to go wrong. Look at this. We have the top three guys in the entire league. And then Jimmy Stu is the next closest to our third guy, and he's three points back with one more game played. Naturally, we have the most wins in the league at the moment. Seven up on these lads right here. 930, that's really good for you, Thomas. Noah Dobson is going off for the Leafs. Kale McCarr, point of game, Miro 24. Olin down here with 23. Oh, all right, glad to see he's working out in Anaheim. Well, that's gonna do it for this one. What a start. For Chicago. If you guys are enjoying this historic run, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Greatly appreciate it. But I appreciate you just for watching. And on that note, I will see you soon.